We're encouraging uh, developers to come to Ireland to build and test uh, the energy generators of the future. Ireland is very much open for business. SAI has supported the development of ocean energy in Ireland in a number of different ways over the past few years. Uh, first off, we have been core to the development of the three test facilities in Ireland. In Cork at a smaller scale, in Galway at deployed scale in the ocean, and then in Mayo more recently at full scale. Alongside this, we have been involved directly in funding international and national research projects on technology development to focus on the generation technologies themselves. And finally, this collaboration has been with both national and international bodies, trying to bring that research, bring that body of knowledge from international entities to Ireland to develop a self-sustaining industry here. The test facilities in Cork are tank-based. It allows people to apply academic rigour, I suppose, to deploy devices reducing both cost and risk, but in a very controlled way. This facility is regarded as being critical to the development of our marine sector, you know, not only marine renewable energies, but also general marine, such as harbour and coastal oil and gas aquaculture, because in, the, in these facilities we can test anything. So any device that you can put into the ocean, we can test it at scale. So that's, that's critical. What you're looking for is to de-risk you know, sort of technologies as you put them into the, into the ocean and these facilities help to do that. Galway is part of a sheltered bay where the Iron Islands provide conditions that are effectively representative of a one-quarter scale modelling environment. And this means that we can deploy smaller devices which are cheaper to deploy and we can test the operability, how easy it is to operate a device, the uh, survivability, the performance of a device and how it really survives and performs within a real marine world uh, environment. It's a cabled observatory and what that means is we have a telecoms cable which provides power and receives data to an underwater hub or node and we can test and validate underwater sensors and equipment, connectors, component parts. The key here is doing it cheaper and doing iterations to get it right before moving on to further offshore locations. The Alex test site is located in Belmullet in County Mayo. It allows us to test full scale devices this time in a real world environment. That is literally exposed to not just the full potential wave energy of the Atlantic, but the full rigours that the Atlantic has to bear on these devices. The idea of the Atlantic Marine Energy Test Site here in Belmullet is that we are about to install uh, cables which will connect full-scale wave energy converters out at sea uh, to the land. Uh, those cables will go along the seabed and they'll connect to the machines floating out at sea in the full scale Atlantic waves uh, where they'll be generating electricity on a pilot scale basis and that then will be the place where the people who started in Cork then came to Galway Bay with their quarter scale devices and then they come to Belmullet here with full scale machines to generate electricity and send that into the grid. 